A 41-year-old patient was referred from a tertiary care centre for evaluation of recurrent sepsis that manifested as low-grade fevers with positive blood cultures. CT of the abdomen revealed two necrotic collections located at the tail of the pancreas in the splenic hilum, measuring 2.8 by 2 cm and 2.9 by 2.4 cm that were separated by septations located in between the collections. There was no window for percutaneous drain placement and the collections were perceived to be too small for any intervention. The patient had undergone endoscopic transmural drainage with nine endoscopic necrosectomies performed over a four-month period for infected necrotizing pancreatitis. What is the next step in management? 1. EUS-guided PFC drainage using an axio stent. 2. Maximize medical therapy and analgesics. 3. Video-assisted retroperitoneal debridement. 4. Percutaneous drain placement. As the patient was symptomatic and experienced recurrent sepsis, the collections did warrant an intervention. However, they were too small for drainage. Therefore, 100 milliliters of normal saline was instilled into the necrotic collections using a 19 gauge FNA needle. The septation separating the two collections was manually disrupted using the FNA needle to create a unilocular larger collection. The unified collection was then amenable for drainage using a 20mm diameter Axios lumen posing metal stent. Culture from the fluid collection was positive for Citrobacter jungae that was susceptible to amicacin and ertapenem. Following drainage, the low-grade fevers resolved and a CT of the abdomen revealed resolution of the necrotic collections. The patient continues to recuperate well. If you want to learn evidence-based practices and know more about state-of-the-art endoscopy technologies, please attend Florida Life EUS from August 21st to 23rd, 2025 in Orlando, Florida, where advanced interventions will be performed by internationally reputed faculty from around the world. Please join us at Florida Life, where the magic of endoscopy begins.